Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing a super motivating video. This is going to be kind of a lot of things rolled into one. So I am going to be sharing lots and lots of cleaning motivation as well as lots of meal prep. I'm going to be sharing tips and then I will also have a few recipes to share with you guys along with a grocery haul at the very end of this video. So I hope that this gives you the motivation to get on the right track for the new year and make this year the best one yet. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to start out, the boys and I just took a few minutes together and just kind of cleaned up the living room. And once that was all tidied up, I just moved into the kitchen and started cleaning that area. And that way I would have a nice clean space to get everything meal prepped once I got finished at the grocery store later on. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we wait. Okay, so I wanted to take a quick second and talk to you guys about something that I am starting in this new year. A lot of you guys know that I have been kind of on a health journey since being diagnosed with Hashimoto's. I have just wanted to kind of clear out my diet and definitely lose some weight, but overall just get healthy. I struggle with being on like a diet because I don't feel like they are sustainable. And so I have actually teamed up with WW. I am doing their new program right now. It is called My WW. It's been amazing. It kind of like guides you through the process of going in a more healthy lifestyle, but you are still able to eat whatever you want within reason. And it kind of like helps give you that guideline for it. So I am doing the blue right now. It has just been really nice because if I really want Chick-fil-A, I can still have it. I don't feel like I have to be deprived. It's been nice not feeling like I'm the only one who can't enjoy everything. So I'm still able to enjoy the things everyone else is enjoying, 
but I'm also more accountable and I'm just able to focus on my goals and I'm really excited to see where this journey takes me. So I'm gonna take just a minute and show you guys a little bit about the WW app and just kind of show you how it works and a few of my favorite things about so it. So for breakfast today, I just had two eggs. Those were zero point foods. They have a ton of zero point foods and they have information of that in the app. I actually ate lunch today and I didn't track it because I wanted to show you guys how I did it. And I also had one of these little bars for a snack today. And this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. On a lot of diets, I feel you can't have this kind of stuff, but here I'm still able to have it. I just have to add it into the app and then I will just make sure that I have to kind of eat a little bit better throughout the day. One of my favorite features is if I want to have this, but I am not sure like how many points this is, or I want to basically see if it's kind of worth the points that it is. On the app, they have this little barcode scanner. All I have to do is just scan the barcode on any of like your packaged foods. It's pulled it up and it's showing that it is five points. So I definitely have enough points. So I'm just going to click on this and then I will say use this food and then I just pick when I'm gonna track it and I'll track the food and it is as easy as that. And now this bar that I had had earlier is tracked in here. So now I have 20 more points for the rest of the day. And if I end up going over this, like if we go out to dinner or something, I also have 42 weekly remaining points because I haven't used any this week. So this is what I had for lunch. I've shared these in the past, but I get these from Costco and I love them so much. This dressing is pretty good. This one is only two smart points and then this is only three smart points, I believe. And then I also just had a side salad. My whole lunch was only five points and it was very, very filling because I did get the protein and the salmon burger. And then I had some greens with the balsamic vinaigrette and that only cost me five smart points. So I will add that in here and then it will end up taking me down to 15 points left for the day. Pretty much only have dinner and snacks with 15 more points. So I'm really on track today and it has just been so nice to have this like so easy in front of me. If you go down to the bottom of the app and you go to recipes, they have a ton of different recipes on here and everything like you can see, like this one is zero points, this one is four points. So anything you want to make, they have a ton of different ideas. It just kind of takes all of the guesswork out of it and it makes it so super easy. So if you guys have any health goals this year, I will leave a link down below that you can get a really good deal they have going on and you can just go ahead and use that link and get their good deal before it's gone. I am so excited to be doing this over the next several months and just kind of train myself to live a healthier lifestyle without feeling like I'm missing out. I am going to now go ahead and start meal prepping and kind of setting myself up for success just to make things a little bit easier on myself. So let's get to it. Once I got back from the grocery store, I just started taking everything and moving it into different piles. One pile was all the things that I was planning on meal prepping and kind of prepping out for just to have for snacks. And then the other pile was things that needed to go directly into the fridge or into the pantry. And that just makes it really nice and easy for me to put things away and just kind of sort them out when I know I'm going to be prepping out my food. And prepping out our food has been such a game changer. It's something that I used to do all the time and I'd kind of gotten away from it. It just is something that doesn't take a ton of time usually, but it does take some discipline just to get home from the grocery store and take some time to do this. But I'm telling you, if you do this, it will end up saving you a lot of money because you will actually use your food. And it will also help you and your family eat a lot healthier if you get everything prepped out then there's just no excuse to go in and grab some junk when you have healthy food already ready for you. Once I got my eggs put away, I started prepping out my sweet potatoes. All I do to roast my sweet potatoes is just set the oven to 425 degrees and then I wash and peel my sweet potatoes and chop them into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm just going to add them to a bowl and put a little bit of oil on them and then just toss or stir them to coat them with the oil. 
and then you just season them with salt and pepper or whatever kind of seasoning you like and then you bake them for 25 to 30 minutes in 425 degree oven or until they are fork tender. Next I'm going to start making my cabbage soup recipe. This is super easy to make and it reheats really, really well. So I'm going to have the recipe card for this and that way you can just screenshot that recipe if you'd like. Next, I'm going to start making my ground taco meat. And then while my ground turkey is cooking, I will continue making my cabbage soup and also finish prepping out some of our fruit. So one thing that I love to do is actually de-stem all of our grapes. But every time that I de-stem my grapes and wash them off, they just end up getting eaten so much quicker and I feel like we have no waste that way. And I also get a ton of questions anytime I pull out this strainer. So this strainer is actually from Ikea. They have a few different ones, but I love how big this one is and that it fits over your sink. It just makes food prep with fresh veggies and fruit a lot easier. It's time to call it quits. The kitchen tap is broken. So once my ground turkey was done cooking, I added about a quarter cup of homemade taco seasoning per pound of meat. And then my secret to making super good homemade tacos is adding salsa, but I end up adding about half a cup of salsa per pound of meat. And this just makes it so flavorful and it kind of gives a different texture because you're adding the salsa in there. And another thing that you can do if you want is you can also add some black beans, just drain and rinse those. But if you eat a lot of beans, this is a really excellent way to stretch your meat and make it go a lot further.
once all of the recipes have been cooked, I will just start putting everything into some food containers. I would actually love to get some new food containers because I've had a lot of these for a really long time and they don't really match. They don't really fit well in my cabinet. So if you guys have any good suggestions on food containers, I would love if you would leave any suggestions in the comments below. But once I start transferring everything into my food containers, I usually like to let everything just kind of sit for a few minutes and kind of cool down a little bit before putting it into the fridge to store. So in the end today, I spent about an hour doing this and now I have homemade taco meat sitting in my fridge that I can heat up throughout the week to eat on. I can also heat up that cabbage soup I made along with those sweet potatoes. I will usually just heat those up in a pan or you can also microwave them as well. And then we also have some fresh fruit to eat on now, which is super nice that it's already prepped out. So this just makes eating at home really, really easy and it helps kind of get rid of some of those excuses to eat out, which costs a lot more money and is also not as healthy for you. So this is something that I really, really have been loving doing lately and I hope that this gave you guys some motivation to get some food prep done in your own home. But I think we'll be all right Here I'm just adding a few drops of essential oil into my drain just to help make your sink smell a little bit better And now it feels so good to have a fully stocked fridge from our grocery shop and also a lot of food prepped out for the week. This will just make the week go by so much easier and make things a lot easier on me during the busy week. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this gave you tons of motivation in so many aspects of your life. And now I'm going to share the grocery haul from everything that I picked up on this day. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. It is totally free to do and it will just notify you of any future videos that I have. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. So I got these little potatoes. These are super easy to cook. All you have to do is just cut them up, put some little olive oil on them or something, and then season them how you want and roast them in the oven. And they're super delicious, and they also reheat really well. I also got some carrots. This is for some 
recipes and then also just to have on hand for snacking. I of course got some bananas for snacking, some pre-mixed lettuce, this is just easy for a go-to salad. I also got some eggs, I got two dozen of these. I will be hard boiling some of these and then some of them I will end up just having like for breakfast. Here I got celery sticks, this is to have on hand for snacking and these ones are actually already cut up so like I don't have to do anything with them and they run a really good deal. Got two cucumbers, these are for snacking but I'm actually starting to use these a lot in my salads just kind of like chop them up and they make a salad like way extra. <laughs> Got two cans, like large cans of tuna. This is just to have some tuna salad prepped and made in the fridge and just have that on hand. Two avocados, these can go with eggs or salads or anything. This Newman's Own Light Balsamic Vinaigrette. This is just a healthier pre-made dressing that I like to get. I also grabbed two pineapples just to cut up and have in the fridge for snacks. I got two things of grapes. I also grabbed some onions just because I'm all out and I always am needing these for different recipes. Next, I got a pack of raspberries. These weren't on the best deal, but they are just really fun to have. They're super delicious, so I got a pack of those for snacking. I grabbed one green bell pepper and then two red bell peppers. These are pretty much mostly for snacking, but I can also use them in a lot of recipes. Three sweet potatoes. I will be cooking these up and then having them in the fridge just so I can grab them. The next thing I grabbed grabbed is some green beans. This is just a big pack so I'm probably going to probably roast maybe half of it and then the rest I'll keep in the fridge and just kind of have for recipes and for side dishes. I also grabbed some salsa. This is a really good one that we love to get and it's mild so I will make a big thing of tacos like taco meat and just kind of have that in the fridge for the week. Some applesauce this is just unsweetened nothing really added to it and then of course taco shells. These I won't really be eating but the family will eat them when we have tacos and I'll just have like a taco salad or something. Some almond milk. This will be going for my shakes and then also for the boys if they want some pancakes or waffles during the week and then I also grabbed some carrots I do like the taste of just regular not cut carrots just like fresh carrots but these are carrot chips and they're just really easy to grab and snack on you can have them with hummus you can have them with like ranch I have a dairy free ranch that I make they're like the easiest go-to snack some lemons and limes just kind of an assortment I think I grabbed four of each and these are just going to be going in waters I'm trying to make a better habit of drinking more water and so that's why I got a bunch of these just to kind of put some in the water and then have them throughout the day and I also picked up some green cabbage and I'm going to be making my cabbage soup this is a recipe that my family loves I'm going to be sharing the recipe again with you guys today I've shared it in the past but it is such a good one. You can make a bunch of it and just keep it in the fridge, but it's so, so good and super good for you. I also got some frozen green beans just to keep on hand for like quick lunches. I can just portion this out for myself or if I wanna make for the whole family for dinner or something, I can do that with frozen ones. And then I also got some little baby dill carrots, not carrots, kosher dill pickles. This ground turkey, this is a pretty good deal today. And so I went ahead and got a big one. And so I'm going to make a big, big pot of tacos with this. And then I also just got some chicken. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with this today, but I'm just mostly going to keep this on hand for the week just so that I can kind of pull it out when I need it for different dinners or different meals. And it's just already unthawed and it's already ready to go. And everything that I picked up today ended up being just under $100. I believe it was like $99 and some change. So I felt like because I got quite a bit of produce and some meat, it was not a bad deal at all. And I was just pretty happy with everything we got.